I think I wanted to, to share you guys, share with you guys this crazy story when we were talking about babysitting. And so I I buy uh, an ounce of um, mushrooms and they're all caps. And so I get it and then I kind of like tell my friend like, oh shit, hey Joe, I just you never I, like I went to go buy weed from Brandon and he had an ounce of mushrooms and I said, well fuck it, I'll just buy it. And he's like, dude, D- Daniel, our friend's um, house is like, you know, he has. This was when I was like probably 22 or whatever. And he's like, oh, uh, Lu- uh, Lupe's house is free. Like no one's there. I'll call him up and tell him, um, like, uh, no one to come over. And I'm like, okay, as long as like there's no like, it's just us, because there's gonna be like three or four of us. As long as it's just me, you, Mandy, and whoever like close knit people then I'm down like but I don't want a, like a party to break out and then we're all like shroomed out and he was like okay like don't worry that house will be cool and I'm like okay so uh, so I'm like preparing for for the day and I'm like okay I'm gonna have all this music I'm I'm gonna uh, buy uh, I'm gonna pre-roll my blunt wraps so we don't have to worry about it when we're stoned I'm gonna get orange juice and give us little snacks after and like I'm I'm making a little like survivor kit for us so I'm getting ready and we get there and we're looking at the mushrooms and we take a lot well, I figure we're here safe and we we start putting on uh, movies in the background and we have music going on I remember we we're listening to Jimi Hendrix and we had you know simultaneously uh, if you ever seen this movie, it's called uh, 2001 Space Odyssey, and it's the scene where the monkeys are going crazy. And so, like, we were really, like, in in the height of, like, our tripping out. And everything's cool, and then all of a sudden, people show up. They open up the door, and it was like... <laughs> and we were there smoking weed with these random people. Not random people, we knew who they were. But we had, like, this strange feeling where... We're like, okay, we don't want to tell them that we're like really fucking out of our minds right now. We're just gonna play it off that we're stoned, and so like we're smoking um, the joint, uh, the the blunt, and all of a sudden my friend Mandy goes outside the room. I'm like, oh shit, I got. I'm like, I don't want to deal with this. Like, I'm barely trying to keep myself together, much less try to help my friend. But I'm like, okay, just uh, um, for whatever reason, I felt like I needed to go and. Uh, help out Mandy so I go outside and we're like on this balcony and I just hear all these these I hear her like ranting about I hate that girl she she thinks I'm a, a slut and she just like starts going off and I know she's like she's looking at me and she hates me and I hate her I wish she never showed up and why did she show up right now and she's just like going off and I and I go and I say in my head, I'm like, damn, Mandy. And then she looks at me, and I look at her. And I'm, and I'm, and I notice that her mouth wasn't moving. And she's still kind of, like, talking. And I'm like, wait a minute. And I think in my head, it's like, were you talking or were you thinking inside your head all this whole time? And Mandy, she shakes her head, like, saying that I wasn't talking. And I'm like, holy shit. And I'm like, Mandy, you could do whatever you want, but I can't handle this right now. Because, like, we were, like, t- like <laughs> talking within our heads to each other. I'm like, I can't handle this right now. Like, I gotta leave you alone because I have to go <laughs> walk because I I am about to freak out right now. <laughs> and, then I, and then at the same time, my other friend, he was like, this is why I told him I didn't think it was a good idea because we couldn't trust that guy. He threw a party when we told him not to throw a party. But anyways, my friend, he was outside, like, doing, like, the Jimi Hendrix thing where he lights the guitar on fire, but he's, like, out in the front lawn. And I'm like, oh, my God. And he was, like, he's, like, a big football player guy. And I go out there, I'm like, Joe, are you all right? He's like, I don't know. What have I become? And I'm like, Joe, just just tell me that you're not going to go, like, running up and down the street because I can't handle that right now. I'm like, just, just chill right here and everything's gonna be fine okay and i'm like oh my god because at one point too i had kaleidoscope vision like 
I had 360 vision and kaleidoscope vision. So I kind of had like vision of a fly, I guess. And so this is like how messed up out of my mind I was. And I just remember when I, the moment when I talked to my friend Mandy inside her head and we communicated without speaking telepathically. And I was just, that was like the moment, because that's that the first time it ever happened to me. I was like, oh my god, I cannot handle this. I need to give up and stop helping people and like worry about my own sanity right now. <laughs> but that wasn't the last time I talked to somebody inside my head. All the times on mushrooms, but... Uh, the babysitter always has to be sober. Those are the rules. <laughs> it doesn't work otherwise. I, I learned that the hard way, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but most of the time, Bob, all right. <laughs> it's that special time that we took way too much that time. 